today we will learn the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple let's first learn about the highest common factor which is also known as hcf to understand this we need to find the factors of 20 and 24 the factors of 20 are 1 2 4 5 10 20 and 20. similarly can you list the factors of 24 think about it you are right the factors of 24 are 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 12 and 24 among the factors of 20 and 24 The factors 1, 2 and 4 are common. We call them common factors of 20 and 24. 4 is the highest number among the common factors of 20 and 24. Therefore 4 is called the highest common factor. That means for any two or more given numbers, the highest of their common factor is called highest common factor or HCF. It is also known as the greatest common divisor or GCD. Let's learn to find the HCF of the given numbers. Let's find the HCF of 20 and 24. First, perform the prime factorization of these two numbers. The prime factorization of 20 can be performed in the following way. The obtained factors as 20 is equal to 2 into 2 into 5. Similarly, perform the prime factorization of 24. This would be 24 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Now check for the common factors among the prime factors of these two numbers. As you can see, 2 is repeating twice among the prime factors of 20 and 24. There is no other common factor between the two. Therefore, the HCF of twenty and twenty-four is two into two is equal to four. Let's now learn about lowest common multiple or LCM. To understand this, let's find the multiples of six and eight. The multiples of six are six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty, thirty-six, etc. Similarly, can you tell me the multiples of eight? Think about it. You are right. The multiples of eight are eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two, forty, forty-eight, etc. Among the multiples of six and eight, twenty-four, forty-eight, etc. are common. These numbers are called common multiples of six and eight. Twenty-four is the lowest number among the common multiples of six and eight. Therefore, it is called the lowest common multiple. That means. For any two or more given numbers, the lowest of the common multiples is called the lowest common multiple or LCM. Let's learn how to find the LCM of the given numbers. Let's find the LCM of six and eight. First, we perform the prime factorization of these two numbers. The prime factorization of six can be performed in the following way. Therefore. We will write the obtained factors as six is equal to two into three. Similarly, for eight, we get the factors two into two into two. As we can see, the factor two is repeated thrice, and the factor three occurs only once. The product of these prime factors will be the LCM of the given numbers. In order to find the LCM of six and eight. We will find the product of the prime factors occurring in maximum numbers. Therefore, the LCM of six and eight is two into two into two into three, which is equal to twenty-four. There is another interesting method to find LCM. Let's understand this. Let's find the LCM of six and eight by this method. First, we write six and eight in a row with some space in between. Let's find the smallest prime number which will divide at least one among six and eight. In order to find such a number, we could take the help of divisibility rules. Both six and eight are divisible by two, so let's divide them by two. By dividing six and eight by two, the results are written in the next row. Similarly, we find the smallest prime number which will divide at least one among three and four. 
2 is the smallest prime number. Since 3 is not divisible by 2, we will write it in the next row as it is. Dividing 4 by 2, the result is written in the next row. In a similar manner, we will divide 2 by 2 and write down the result in the next row and we will write 3 in the next row as it is. Now, we divide 3 by 3. Now the method came to an end. To find the LCM of 6 and 8, we will multiply these numbers. Therefore, the LCM is 24. Today, we have learnt the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. In the next video, we will understand it in a better way with some examples. Thank you.